And now milking camels for all they're worth. So the president was in Jordan today. It was his final stop on his visit to the Middle East. He was welcomed by Jordan's King Abdullah with fanfare, bagpipes, sword-carrying guardsmen, and camels. And today was not the first time the president has been greeted by camels. We wanted to show you during a tour of the Great Pyramids of Giza. There he was. And at an animal market in Kenya, back when he was still a senator. I like that the president likes camels. He has spent so much time with camels that I wonder if he's ever tried camel milk. It's something we've been passionate about on this program for a long, long time. It could be amazing for you. And we first told you about it over a year ago. But President Obama, if you haven't tried camel milk, here's why we think you should consider it. <laughs> Loud, dusty, and very hot. The world's biggest camel ranch is busy at milking time. 2,500 camels file in groups of 12 for automatic milking twice a day. Camels produce about half as much milk as cows, but less might be more. Some people say camel milk is like a miracle drug. They say it could help cure autism, diabetes, cancer, and even AIDS. That's because camel stomachs are similar to human ones. That makes a big difference, according to veterinarian Abu Bakr. Maybe there is a magic uh, treatment in camel milk. The milk is called Camelicious, and the United Arab Emirates is one of the world's biggest producers. But it isn't easy. Setting up the first ever automated milking for camels was hard because every camel is a slightly different height. Martin Van Almsek manages the ranch. You see all the hums one after the other. It's not like just one car in a row, same model. No, it's different models, all different. That's the females. The males, not nearly as pleasant or attractive. The ratio of the male to female, one to 100. One, one to male, 100? Yeah, one to 100. Wow. All that mating happens in just three months a year. Baby camel girls will end up having about seven offspring. That's 14 years of milk. And where there's milk, there's chocolate. Chocolate that comes at a serious price, up to $7 a bar. A price the camels, at least, think is well worth paying. Now, you can't buy Dubai camel chocolate or milk yet in this country. The FDA has to approve it, and we sincerely hope that happens. But we found a way to import camel products on this show. One of our producers, Robert Hand, you've seen him on the show before. He's lactose intolerant, so he's a big fan of camel chocolate. Anytime we're in the region, Hand stocks up on the chocolate. He's actually on vacation now, and in honor of camels and their milk, he posted this picture today. 